One of the best ways to improve your English vocabulary is to read lots of fun stories in English. But did you know that there is an even better way? Let's create a story. Hey, my fellow English learner! You probably already know that to improve your active vocabulary, you need to use the words you're learning. Usually, I write sentences with them, and it's been really effective, but I got some truly amazing results from writing stories. Three years ago, I was part of a group on Facebook, where we would get different tasks to record ourselves in English. Once, we got a small list of idioms containing numbers, like kill two birds with one stone. We were asked to use them and explain one idiom in detail in a short video. I went even further and created a ridiculous story about adventures of a clumsy giraffe. And he said, oh yeah, I do. I often feel drowsy and dizzy and groggy. Oh, so I think we can kill two birds with one stone. Yes, I was obsessed with giraffes long before I created this channel and became Lady Giraffe. It didn't save me from pronouncing the word giraffe wrong in this video, though. Another giraffe. Our body giraffe. There were five idioms overall. How many of them do you think I could recall without watching the video? After three years. Four. When I watched the video, I remembered the fifth, and I was surprised to realize that it's been part of my active vocabulary for years. I know what these idioms mean, I know how to use them, I can recall them, and they're stuck in my memory. Now let's talk about how I did it. First, I took my five idioms and wrote them down. They were chosen for me, but I could have done the same thing myself pretty easily. You can use idioms, collocations, a small list of words on a certain topic, or a bunch of random words, you name it. I wouldn't recommend learning more than, let's say, three to six words at a time in this way, though. Then I found out everything I could about these idioms in a dictionary. And by everything, I mean everything. Meaning pronunciation and the correct way to use them. The research took a while. If you skip it, you risk memorizing new vocabulary all wrong. Trust me, breaking the habit of pronouncing a word in a certain way, of using a word wrong, is much, much more difficult than learning everything right in the first place. After that, I started thinking how I could work all five idioms into one story. Have two left feet sounded like a good foundation for it. So a clumsy giraffe who had two left feet was born. He wanted to become less clumsy, so he went to his friend for advice. And there was another third giraffe who wasn't welcome there, because I had to use two's company, three's a crowd in my story. The giraffe ended up picking up a new hobby of dancing and became a professional dancer. The more ridiculous your story is, the better. Because there is a much better chance of you remembering this story in this way for a long, long time. And with the story, you'll remember your idioms or collocations or new words or expressions. It could have ended there. Writing down a story with the words you want to learn is an awesome activity all by itself. But you can make it even better. So after creating the story, I started practicing telling it out loud. Then I recorded myself telling this story as engagingly and emotionally as I could. 
not reading, but recalling the story. So in this way, I killed two birds with one stone, learned five new idioms really well, and I practiced my speaking and storytelling skills. I still can't believe I remember this giraffe story and all the idioms I used in it. You should try out this method because it's super fun! If you plan on writing a story, but you want to get feedback on your writing first and correct your mistakes, check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time with more awesome language content!